When you say adventure riding, two things will usually come to mind, and it's usually the image of a BMW GS motorcycle, and on that GS is probably a rider wearing the BMW rally suit. The GS and the rally suit have been top of the category for decades, basically providing the blueprint and defining the category. The GS as a motorcycle has been constantly evolving over the years, and as for the venerable rally suit, well this year BMW Motorrad updates it further and gives us a new variation. What's new with the rally suit and is it still king of the category? Join me for this ride and find out. Nothing says hardcore adventure more than BMW's rally suit. It has been a staple for adventure touring riders who want to stay comfortable and protected whatever the conditions that they are riding in. I'm talking about whether you're out for a casual weekend ride or competing in the Dakar rally. The rally suit has been the answer. Now the rally suit has built a solid reputation for itself in the adventure riding community ever since it was introduced. And over the years, well, each iteration and each version has just gotten better and better. For 2021, they gave us probably the most interesting rework of the Rally Suit yet, the Rally Pro Triple Black Edition. Pretty snazzy. Now, the Rally Pro integrates most of the features that previous generations of rally suits had, um, but it gives it a decidedly more updated feel. For starters, it comes in a triple black colorway that's murdered out black, all black, with small details in BMW blue like the zipper tabs and other little details. Now, it's also a lot slimmer in my opinion, which gives it a more modern, more elegant look. And it's coupled with some other technical features which I'll walk you through a little later on. Now, it comes in a matched top and bottom trousers available separately. Obviously, if you combine them, you get a suit. Both the jacket and trousers come with a waterproof outer shell when you get it. Now, I know what you're thinking at this point. What's in the box? <laughs> Now, if you pull the trigger on the Rally Pro jacket, you will be unboxing a pretty snazzy package. More like unboxing something carefully wrapped by your tailor rather than rugged adventure riding gear. This is a full textile jacket made of BMW's Pro-Tech wool with abrasion-resistant dot print material on high impact zones and stretch panels to aid in movement. Color scheme is black on black with tasteful blue highlights. Careful attention has been paid to the venting system of the Rally Pro jacket with zippered vents on the length of the arms, at the shoulders, on the center of the chest, and snap secured flaps on the outer chest to allow more airflow. Now, there are strategically placed raised channels on the inside of the jacket to direct the airflow. There are two large chest pockets, one large back pocket, a window pocket on the left sleeve, and two waterproof flap pockets, which is perfect for keeping your phone and wallet dry in a jiffy. Now there is also provision for BMW's Trink Pack system or a hydration pack in the back and the jacket comes supplied with the current NP Flex protectors which allow less bulk and more flexibility at the elbows, shoulder, and back. Now included in the box is a waterproof outsert or waterproof over jacket designed to be worn over the Rally Pro jacket. Now it has the same stealthy colorway as the jacket. Also included is spare hardware which could come in very handy should any any snaps or fasteners need replacing. The matching pants are just as carefully packaged and just as attentively designed. Again, these are cut slimmer in my opinion than previous rally suit bottoms, which had a tendency to fit on the baggy side. They feature the same Protect wool material, stretch panels, and dot print abrasion resistant material, as well as the NP Flex protectors at the knees and hips. There are zippered vents on the thighs of the trousers to allow for airflow and two side pockets and flap pockets on the thighs which are quite useful. Now pants and jacket are designed to zip together at the waist to of course keep the elements out and to prevent the jacket from riding up. In the box, you'll also find color matched waterproof overpants, which you wear over the pants, as overpants usually are, and spare hardware and fasteners as well. Overall, it's great packaging of a great product. It's like you're unboxing an expensive suit or a tux. Very fitting, I think, considering the premium reputation of the brand. Now, it feels very luxurious and at the same time, very rugged, and feels like you're buying the key to the BMW lifestyle. So in the interest of science and looking cool on a motorcycle, I'm going to take one for the team and go for a ride in the gear. 
All right, on the ride, my biggest worry with a Rally Pro was heat management. Zip up a full textile suit with a layer of armor and you'll soon find yourself baking in our tropical heat. It's pretty hard to match the breeziness of mesh, but what I discovered was that at a steady pace, say about 50 kilometers per hour, the Rally Pro's venting system really comes into play. Unlike a mesh jacket which allows air to quickly come in but also to quickly move out, the Rally Pro almost sucks air into its vents and traps it momentarily, allowing it to be channeled and to circulate around your body before it actually exits, creating a noticeable cooling effect. Now, the condition, of course, being that you must be traveling at a fairly fast clip, perfect for long highway miles. When the riding turns to the path less taken and pavement turns into dusty fire roads, the other advantage of textile over mesh becomes apparent. The Rally Pro will keep dust and grip off you if you plan on doing lots of off-road miles. Something to consider if this is the kind of riding that you see yourself doing. Whew, now that was quite a ride. Now I see why the Rally Suit has the reputation it does. It is the top dog of adventure riding, so it's premium in every way. Now, I think I'm gonna need some help uh, discussing this, so um, you, um, yeah, put this on. That's it, don't be shy, come on in, yes, all right. Now we can begin. Now some riders will like the slightly slimmer and more European cut of the Rally Pro Triple Black, which I think looks just as at home on a swanky espresso stop, yes, as it does ripping across uncharted terrain. Very good. Now while some riders may prefer the brighter colorways that BMW has used in the past, blue and gray, red and black, those are still currently available. Go for it if that's what you're interested in. Now things that I like, I've mentioned that I like the slim cut, the premium feel of the materials and the hardware. And I love the venting scheme actually. Um, this is where you can be useful. Show them the zips on the arms and on the chest. Yes. Now the biggest difference between this Rally Pro and the other Rally suits is the large back vent turnaround that BMW has actually opted not to include in the Rally Pro, which is pity because it was a huge help in managing temperatures while riding. But the new venting scheme, well, it does do a good job, with the caveat being that you must be moving at a fair clip to feel them doing their job. Now, if you want to trade the advantage of being more protected from dust and grit, um, which you get from textile, for the breezier benefits of, say, mesh, well, BMW has some other options in their gear lineup. Check it out if you're interested. None, however, I think, has the pedigree and the authenticity as the Rally Suit. Now, who's buying this suit? I think uh, the Rally Suit will be of most interest to those of us already riding a BMW, particularly a GS, of course. And honestly, if you've paid for the ticket to get on board one of the most rugged, one of the most capable, and at the same time luxurious adventure bikes, well, it only seems natural that you have gear to match. Do not compromise on your adventure riding gear. Go for the Rally Pro. And with that, I want to say thank you very much, sir. Thank you you were a big much. help. One more ride. Oh, don't mind if I do. Let's go. Well, that's all I've got for you in this episode of The Man Cave. I hope that feature was helpful for you in your gear selection journey. If you like this kind of content, don't be shy. Go ahead and click subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of The Man Cave.